you know, what use is knowledge if it's not shared? And that is a really, really good mindset to have. And I think it was Ben that actually said that, one of our students. He's like, you know, what's the point of being certified and having the knowledge if you don't share it? So you might want to think about that, you know, it's food for thought. You know, make yourself available, share knowledge, you know. It's one of the things that we sign up for as a PMP. We actually sign up to advance the profession, the practice, the science of project management. You know that. You signed up for it. If you didn't read the Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct, go back to it. Take a read. Step six, volunteer your abilities and sync up for more PDUs. You know, we have those occasional study sessions. Well, we need PMPs like you to share your story, to share how you got PMP certified, it is a big deal. The moment you find out that your PMP exam doesn't look like a big deal anymore, it means you're probably falling off the horse, even as a PMP. Lastly, use the internet to look for jobs. First one is LinkedIn. Join groups on LinkedIn and get the word out that you are a PMP. So first of all, join our group on LinkedIn and, you know, pass colleagues and leads that you get and recruiters you want to keep those people linked into you so I would add those people to my LinkedIn I will stay on top of it let those people know look I'm looking for a job or I'm looking for an opportunity one thing or the other LinkedIn is a really really cool tool to use you know people that you probably have forgotten about how about checking them up and make make sure that they're still available they may be able to help you in your career monster.com number one stop shop for jobs if you weren't aware of monster.com let me just show you two seconds here type in keywords type in CAPM for example and just hit the enter button look at how many jobs are available looking for people who are CAPMs now some of them are not exactly the CAPM acronym that you know but for the most part they are so you might want to scan down and look for these CAPM jobs and these annoying pop-ups sometimes you can't get rid of them I'm just gonna have to ignore that one kinda of malignant there but if you look for your CAPM jobs you will find a gazillion jobs you know that are available to you as a CAPM. If you do the same thing for PMP, let me just refresh this browser here, do the same thing for the buzzword PMP and you'll see that there's so many jobs available for PMPs in the United States and beyond. You might even want to go to monster.co.uk or any of those other domains you will find that there are tons of jobs, I mean tons for PMPs and CAPMs, so many jobs you know, it'll take you quite a while to go through them. Look at this one, IT software development job. You know, you might feel oh, I've not been in software for too long. Well, you never know. You know, you never know who's really looking and what qualities you have that might be of interest to these guys. So, I would search on Monster.com. I would do this daily. This is something I used to do when I was really searching for a job. Daily, I'd jump on Monster.com and I'd look for any job that would have the word PMP. Now sometimes it might be in my area, it might be in a technical area I'm proficient in, other times it might be kind of outside, but guess what? I still looked, you know, that's how I got some of the really, really, really cool jobs I got. Actually a lot of my contacts that I got that got me some really huge paying jobs, I got them from Monster. You know, I didn't know these people before I jumped on Monster, jumped on Monster, found a few of them, and I didn't use them like immediately, but years down the road, those guys, you know, those recruiting companies that I got myself hooked up with via Monster, they found me some really ridiculously well-paying jobs. So you might want to think about that. Going back here to our presentation, there are a few other sites I mentioned, Dice.com. Dice is your number one stop shop for technical jobs. So if you're a technical type person, maybe you program, you use Agile, you use Scrum and all that kind of stuff, how about going to Dice.com? Whether you're a CAPM or a PMP, you know, post your resume up there. You might want to, you know, log in, post your resume up there, and then, you know, look for jobs. For example, I'm going to type in the word PMP again in Dice.com, 
and let's do a quick metro search let's do a metro search in Dallas Texas for example quick search and you can do this wherever you you know wherever you live wherever you want to work I mean there's so many jobs for PMPs you know so many jobs I mean it'll be ridiculous not to apply for these jobs and you know make make up the usual excuse well I don't have experience in that area you know guess what they call you for an interview you go in you, you know maybe you feel oh, I'm not going to do well even if they call me for an interview why not go there try and sharpen your interviewing skills you know that's what it's all about you know sharpen your skills I mean I've been to tons of interviews I can interview with my eyes closed because I've gone to so many you know I've coped with the rejection from interviews um, but I've got so much experience going for interviews that I can interview at any time I can talk about my experience anywhere anytime because um, I wasn't scared of going for interviews and failing so I went went to lots of interviews lots of interviews alright so here's another one here's another example of a job and some of them pay really well you know some of these jobs out there I mean it's scary to look at how much they pay they pay so so well there's another one senior PMO manager you know you don't really know how good you are until you stretch yourself like before I started working in a very intense earned value role I had no idea how good I was in earned value I had no idea that I could apply my skills in that kind of way to nothing but earned value daily so you have to push yourself you know don't don't think oh, I can't do it you might be, be able to do it even better than you think here's the last one careerbuilder.com make sure you post your resume up there as well it is another good site I strongly recommend it I've gotten jobs from this website as well and I actually got um, a I think it was in a civil engineering company I got a job in the company through there and I think I've gotten one or two other gigs through this website so not a bad one at all you know you've got all kinds of project manager jobs there's a pretty good one 107 to 120 a year I mean there are jobs out there you just have to be aggressive with your job search and that concludes the presentation I have if you have any questions you know how to get hold of me let me know what your questions are what you're thinking what your concerns are you know because it's a really good thing to get certified but beyond getting certified the big question of now what you know comes up and if you're one of our students and you would like a copy let's say you've got PMP certified that's what I'm talking about you are one of our students you got PMP certified you know get in touch for the life after the PMP exam you have to request it if you're not a student sorry you can't get one all the best I'll speak to you soon